what I think I like most about Downtown Kent is probably its character. It has a big university right next to it, and yet it has this humble feeling all through it that makes it more unique than any place I've ever been. What I wanted to do was go to downtown Kent, a city I love, and speak to a handful of small business owners and talk to them about what it's like to start their business, what it's like to keep their business going. I think if you're a resident of a small town, it helps to know your small businesses and the owners that have worked so tirelessly to, to bring it to you, to, to give you a service they feel is worthwhile to give. Came down with my now wife who was going to, to library school here and so I came down to go to the bookstore and there was no bookstore in Kent. One day there was a, a for rent sign in a space in the front and I just decided I was just gonna open a bookstore. I took half of my own collection and uh, put a store together in about two weeks and was open and now it's what it is. You try to kind of create this memory of a situation where you came downtown with your friends and maybe you got popcorn or chocolates and maybe you did some shopping at the toy store or this or that and those memories and things like that are what kind of brings you back um, because it's fun it's fun having that favorite place that you go to with your friends and kind everything in the shop is my recipe it, like i made it i mean the only thing i buy are ingredients that's that's unusual I, people like it the, the the people that are looking for it and crave it they, they really, really like it. And I really, really like it. When I go somewhere and I see something that someone made, I get pretty excited about it. Things we have in our store, I try to source things that aren't, you aren't gonna find in every corner shop. Coming in my store is a fun place to be. You inevitably will find things that you haven't seen in other places. So, and people come in and they just laugh and have a good time. So I think that's kind of the main reason that people like to come here. We grew up in this area, or I grew up in this area once we moved here from London, and so we just, when this whole new development happened, I came down here and I was looking at the area. I knew that I wanted to start a business somewhere, and when I saw this, everything happening in Kent, I knew it had to be right now, and it had to be during this new redevelopment. I just always loved this industry. I'd always been in like women's fashion, in the different boutiques and places I'd work, some with clothing, some with not with clothing. And Carnaby Street is a huge fashion district in London, so i just always been interested in that side of fashion. We just have the best customers here and the best employees, so having a great customers, the people in Kent and the students in Kent, they're just so refreshing and so nice to work with, so we meet the best people every day. Running a business is, running a business is one thing, owning a business and trying to run it is quite another and these guys do it day in and day out better than I think I ever could. Do as much of it as possible yourself on the front end uh, or friends or whoever and pay out as little as possible at the be in, you know at the beginning. A lot of businesses start out of like a real passion but you know the money part of it is so important. If they're able to pour their money and, and that much energy and time into a new business, they might come out ahead in certain, you know, in some instances. So anytime anybody ever talks to me about wanting to start a business, I always tell them to go for it. Always, always, always. In a hundred years, we'll all be dead. You know? <laughs> Make sure they have a passion for what they're doing and ready to do it every day of their life and dedicate everything to it. Um, and learn accounting. I always say that because I don't think it's stressed enough. Even when I was in business school, I don't think anyone stressed it enough. You have to make sure you know what you're doing with accounting. But it's worth it. It's worth not having a boss. Yeah. So. Good point. Yeah.